question number 6 express the following fractions as a mixed fraction express the following fraction as a mixed fraction now see first one 17 upon 3 17 upon 3 
1 see this is 11 line so it is 0 ok 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 equal parts we have to make on this number line ok you take proper measurement and make 7 equal parts on number line ok why 7 see why 7 equal parts see what is your denominator 7 so between 11 and 12 make 7 lines ok see 11 see means what it 11 is one number so this part is 0 upon 7 11 integer 0 upon 7 7 equal parts we did now so 11 is all number and this part is 0 upon 7. So first part is 11 integer. First part is, see I am showing down here. First part is 11 integer 1 upon 7. Okay. Now second part is 11 integer 2 upon 7. Okay. Now see here third part is, see here I am writing with there is no place so I am showing with this way. Okay. So third part is 11 integer 3 upon 7. Okay. Then fourth part is. See fourth part is 11 integer 4 upon 7. 11 why? Because 11 it has completed. It is all number part. So first see. Here at the place of 11. 11 integer 0 upon 7. This number is 0. 0 upon 7. First line is 11 integer 1 upon 7. Why 7 we are writing? We have made 7 equal parts between 11 and 12. So now fifth part is 11 integer 5 upon 7. Sixth part is 11 integer 6 upon 7. And seventh part is 11 integer 7 upon 7. 7 upon 7. 11 integer 7 upon 7. It is whole number part. Yes? It is whole number part. Okay? So 12 it is. Okay? So now what we have to show? 11 integer 4 upon 7. 11 integer 4 upon 7. Understood how to write these numbers? See. So now I am showing you directly on the number line which is 4 part. Okay? Just for your understanding, I have shown all these numbers. Now see, in between now this number, first line is 11, see, this 11, see here, 11 integer 1 upon 7, 11 second, see, this line is 11 integer 2 upon 7, 11 integer 3 upon 7, and this line is 11 integer 4 upon 7. So where it is represent 11 integer 4 upon 7 here. Okay. Then next is 11 integer 5 upon 7, 11 integer 6 upon 7 and 11 integer 7 upon 7. That is whole number part. Okay. Now let's solve next example. See now in this example. What we have to show 3 integer 3 upon 5. See again I have drawn here one number line. Okay, so again I am going to write the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Now see, what I have to show here, whole number part is 3. Whole number part is 3. Okay, so this number will come where it is. Where this number will come in between 3 and 4. See, 3 is whole number. So, where is whole number? See here, 3 is whole number. See, here it is. Okay. And what I have to show? 3 integer, 3 upon 5. So, this is fractional part. So, fractional part. So, this number will come in between 3 and 4. Yes. Whole number, what, what it is? 3. So, this number will come after 3 and before 4. Means in between 3 and 4. So, here, see, 3 upon 5 means how many equal parts we are going to do between 3 and 4? In between 3 and 4, how many equal parts we are going to make? 5. What is denominator here? 5. So, in between make 5 equal parts. Okay. See, 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is 5th part. At 4 it is? Fifth part, see, this is first part, second, 
third, fourth, and this is fifth part. Five equal parts we have to make. Why? Because denominator is five here. So three integer three upon five we have to show. Now this line at three it is three integer zero upon five. These are three three integer zero upon five. Yes. So now first part is three integer one upon five. See three integer one upon five. Okay. Then second part is three integer two upon five. Then third part is see this part is three integer three upon five. So where it came three integer three upon five here. Then three integer four upon five. And fifth part is three integer five upon. Three integer five upon five. Now we will say how many. See, you will convert this number in the improper fraction. If you will convert this number in the improper fraction, five three is a fifteen. Fifteen plus three, eighteen. Eighteen upon five will come. Eighteen upon five will come. So now, if you will divide this number, see five here five right? Five five ten five three is a fifteen. Ten here fifteen parts will come. Then sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So this part will come three integer three upon five. Okay, this part will come three integer three upon five. Understood? So when we got three integer three upon five, this part is three integer three upon five. See five three is a fifteen. Fifteen plus five, twenty. Okay. See, you will say, madam, how it is three integer five upon five. See, five threes are fifteen. Fifteen plus five, twenty. Twenty upon five. Twenty upon five means five ones are five. Five fours are twenty. So this we got four. Understood? How we have to do? See, three integer five upon five means how it is four. You will ask. So see, this is mixed fraction. Convert in the Improper fraction five threes are fifteen. Fifteen plus five, twenty. So twenty upon five. Twenty upon five. Now do reduce term five ones are five. Five fours are twenty. Four upon one means whole number we got four. Okay. So where is our three integer three upon five here? So whatever number you will take. See whole number part. We have to first represent all the numbers on the number line. Okay. And which number is whole number? Part now here three is whole number part. So this three and this is fractional part. Fractional part. So what is denominator? That much equal parts we have to make in between that number, and we have to show that number. So three integer three upon five. Where it will come? Here it will come. Understood? Because seven is whole number, yes. 
So this number will come on number line after seven and before it means in between seven and eight. Okay. So now see here I will write numbers on number line. See this is zero upon twenty. This is zero one two three four five six seven. See here. Where this 
number will come on number line after 3. 3 is whole number part. So it will come after 3 and before 4. Means in between 3 and 4 it will come. It will not come after 4 or 5. Huh? Don't think for this. See whole number part it is 3. 3 and then after that we are going to make the fractions. Means we are going to make equal parts. So after 3. Now what is your denominator? 5. So for this line make 5 equal parts. For this line make 5 equal parts. See. 1. See, I have made here five equal parts. Okay. Now see. One, two, three, four and five. See first, it is done. See, down of three. What it will come? Three integer. Zero upon five. How many equal parts we did? Five. So this is zero. Okay. After three, see. So this is zero. Zero upon five. Because 5 threes are 15, 15 upon 5. See, 5 threes are 15. 15 plus 0, 15. 15 upon 5 if you will do. 5 ones are 5, 5 threes are 15. So we got 3. Okay. So now this part is 3. So which part is? This part is 3 integer 1 upon 5. Then this part is 3 integer 2 upon 5. This part is 3 integer 3 upon 5. This part is 3 integer 4 upon 5. And this part is 3 integer 5 upon 5. Means whole number it is. Okay. So now which we have to show on the number line 3 integer 2 upon 5. Where it is 3 integer 2 upon 5. It is here. See so I will rough remaining all the numbers. If you will keep even though okay no problem. But see. After 3, this is second line. Okay, after 3, this is second line is 3 integer 2 upon 5. Okay, see in between 3 and 4, what we have to do? 5 equal parts we have to make. And in that now what we have to show? 3 integer 2 upon 5. So second line is after 3, second line is 3 integer 2 upon 5. Let's solve question number 10. Which of the following fractions are greater than 3? But less than 4. Which of the following fractions are greater than 3 but less than 4? That we have to find. Now first number I will take. 25 upon 6. Now 25 upon 6 is which type of fraction? It is improper fraction. Yes. Improper fraction convert into mixed fraction. See I will show you how to convert directly. 6 4 is 24 and 1, 25. If you do not understand, write wrong. Solve properly and write there. Okay. 6 fours are 24. Okay. So what will come down here? This. Okay. So what it is as which of the following fractions are greater than 3 but less than 4? Now if you will see, here whole number what we got? 4. Here whole number we got 4. So this fraction is what it is? It is greater than 4. What it is asked? Which of the following fractions are greater than 3 but less than 4? Less than 4 we want. But here we got 4 integer 1 upon 6. Means it is greater than 4. It is greater than 4. So, this fraction will not come. Okay. So, this fraction will not come. So, now, next fraction. Next fraction, what it is? Next fraction, 16 upon 25. Now, 16 upon 25. See, 25 upon 6. 25 upon 6 is greater than 4. It is, so it will not come. Understood? So, now, 16 upon 16 upon 25 is which type of fraction? 16 upon 25 is which type of fraction? It is proper fraction. And proper fractions are less than 1. 16 upon 25 is proper fraction. And proper fractions are less than 1. Proper fractions are less than 1. 
So this fraction is less than one. And what we want? Greater than three, but less than four. So this fraction will also not come. Okay. Now, what is next fraction? Twenty-three upon seven. Twenty-three upon seven is improper fraction. Okay. So we need to convert in the mixed fraction. So divide. Seven three is at twenty one to minus two zero. Okay, so what we got here answer? Seven three is at twenty one. Twenty one plus two twenty three. Three is at two upon seven. And what we want here? Which of the following fractions are greater than three? Now see here whole number part we got great three. Here whole number part we got three. So this fraction will And but less than four. See this number represent in between three and four because whole number part is three and fractional part is two upon seven. Okay, so this fraction, if you will draw the number line on that very curve in between three and four, in between three and four. So this fraction can come for the fraction greater than three, less than four. So which fraction we call fractions greater than three, but less than four? Which fractions? Now which fraction will come? This fraction will come for greater than three, but less than four. So twenty-three upon seven will come in this. Okay, now let's check next fraction. See here, I will check because here we are writing the answers. Fifteen upon four. Fifteen upon four is improper fraction. Now we need to convert in the mixed fraction. So divide four threes are twelve. Okay. Four threes are twelve. So what we got here? Four threes are twelve plus three fifty. Okay. So three integer three upon four. We got this fraction. We got three integer three upon four. So three integer three upon four is greater than three, but less than four. This is what it is us. Greater than three, but less than four. So this fraction will come in greater than three. And less than four. So which fraction will come? Fifteen upon four. Fifteen upon four. Okay. It is greater than three because whole number part of what we got three, and this is fractional part. So this number will come where on the number line in between three and four. So greater than three, less than four. Okay. So this fraction will come now. Next fraction, twenty-eight upon three. Twenty-eight upon three. Again, convert. See, there are three answers you can convert if you understand. See, take the denominator three. Three nines are twenty-seven. Three nines are twenty-seven and one twenty-eight. Three nines are twenty-seven and one twenty-eight. Twenty-eight upon three. Okay. So this we got in mixed fraction. So nine we got as a whole number. So this is greater fraction. Yeah. This is greater than four. So, okay. See what we got here. Fraction nine integer one upon three. Which fraction we got here? Nine integer one upon three. Nine integer one upon three means it is greater than four. We want greater than three but less than four. So this fraction will not come in this. Okay. So next fraction check nineteen upon five. Nineteen upon five. See, five. Say five table. Five threes are fifteen. Five fours are twenty. Twenty we want no. Five threes are fifteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Till nineteen we have to count. So here we got four. So five threes are fifteen. Fifteen plus four nineteen. Nineteen upon five. Okay. So now see here whole number part what we got three. Yes, whole number part we got three. So this fraction is greater than three but less than four. This number where it will come on the number line in between three and four? 
Yes. So this fraction is greater than three but less than four. So nineteen upon five. So nineteen upon five we can write here. Okay. Then next twenty five upon six. Fractions are greater than three, but less than four. 